Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Hayes Tech ROM review. Uh, this is not a ROM review, though. Uh, this is more on Substratum, uh, and Substratum is a type of theme engine. Uh, it is layers based, or uh, or it works with a layers system (RRO), uh, and is not uh, CMTE. Uh, but it is not uh, layers in itself either. Um, it's an engine uh, that applies the layers more uh, in the way that CMTE does it. Um, it. Kind of. It's the only thing. I, the only way I can explain it is it works kind of like that in its use, uh, in its function, its UI. Um, it's actually a very very cool uh, uh, theme engine. Um, I'm not sure when you guys are going to be able to see this. Uh, today is the 14th, I think, or the 15th. Let me check here real quick. Today's the 15th. Um, so depending on when uh, they actually release this app to uh, public for you guys to download and use is probably going to depend on when you guys see this video. Uh, I don't want to step on any toes, um, but I did want to make this video for uh, a couple uh, of the people that I am testing uh, their themes on. Um, one of which is Frankie T, uh, who does uh, Deity, uh, which I just love, by the way. Um, not love him. <laughs> I mean, he's an awesome guy. But I love his themes, man. Uh, his themes, his wallpapers, uh, the guy's just awesome. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to let you guys see how Substratum works and how to use it. Um, as you can see right off the bat, it's kind of laid out like CMTE is, where you can see all the themes that you've downloaded, uh, the kind of like in a block format. Um, and the first thing I want to do, or what you'll want to do, is pick the theme that you want to use. And I'm going to go with Deity OMS. Uh, by the way, uh, you have to have a theme that is themed for, uh, or uh, coded and developed for, Substratum. You can't use a standard layers theme unless... The developer says that it will work uh, with Substratum. Uh, number two, you have to have a ROM that is running uh, or coded again or built to run Substratum. Uh, if you have the standard, uh, like I'm running uh, Pure Nexus, uh, if you're running the standard Pure Nexus ROM that is out now, uh, it, this is not going to work for you. You need the ROM that is uh, built specifically for Substratum. Okay. Uh, pretty much those are the only two. Um, if you're running a custom ROM, you're already rooted and all that. You do need to be rooted. Uh, and I think that is about it. Oh, one more thing before we go on, guys. Uh, if you are running a layers theme before you downloaded the ROM that you're running now, uh, and you're, before you run uh, Substratum, you want to go into your, you want to go into your file manager, and you want to look to make sure you do not have an overlays folder in it. Because if you were running layers before on any of the ROMs that you ran, you're going to have a folder uh, in, on your system called Overlays. You want to delete that folder. If you don't delete it, you're going to have all kinds of issues with this. All right. Also, uh, I am going to uh, pause through some of this stuff so that you don't have to wait around while it is uh, taking effect. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, the easiest way i found uh, to do all of this is just to swipe over and go right into the Overlays Manager. Uh, it does give you other choices too. You have your boot animations. If the ROM comes with a boot animation, you hit the drop down. Um, you can pick the boot animation you like. And I'll let you guys see this. Sometimes it'll show it, and again, sometimes it won't like that. Uh, just because it doesn't show it doesn't mean it won't uh, apply it. Now, all you have to do to apply this boot animation is hit that little uh, check mark there, and it will apply it just like that. There's nothing else you have to do. Uh, font pack, same way. Uh, you just click on the drop down, pick the font pack you want, um, you know, like that. Hit the apply, hit that little check mark there, and it is going to apply that font pack throughout. All right, uh, we are going to focus on the uh, the layers manager itself. Now I'm going to keep this very very simple. Um, that way, you know, this doesn't get out of hand, and I don't want this video to go too long. The way I do it 
is I enable everything right off the bat, just like that. Um, down through uh, my AOSP keyboard. Oh, I forgot. Anytime you uh, you set a layers, which I did with the, with the fonts, uh, you have to do a system UI uh, reset, and the phone will do that for you. You don't reboot your phone. It just resets the system UI. All right, so I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, we're going to go with a red keyboard for my AOSP keyboard. And actually, I'm running Google Keyboard right now, uh, so I'll get to that when I get there. Uh, primary color, I want to go with something very simple. Um, we're going to go with the... If I can remember where it's at, uh, the Rep Dom. Uh, my accent color, I want to keep with that. If I can find it. All right, you know what? I just want to quickly get something on here for you. Let's go with UCLA Gold. Uh, my background color, you know me, guys. I either like it black or clear, and I'm going to go with black. So we're going to go background black, scroll on down. Now, right now, you want to look at the, the apps that are picked uh, or checked to be themed and uncheck anything you don't want themed. And right now, what I don't want themed is my uh, Google keyboard because I'm running the uh, pure, or I'm running the end preview keyboard and it is themed the way I want it themed. I don't want anything else touching it, so I'm just going to uncheck that. Uh, we're going to scroll on down. Also, Nova or Nova Launcher. I'm running an older version of Nova Launcher, and I don't want any conflicts, so I'm unchecking that. If you guys are running the latest Nova Launcher, you can go ahead and check that, and it'll theme it. All right, under Settings, we're going to go with Card Style. I'm just going to go with Default, System UI, Header Colors. Um, you can pick what you want with this. Uh, I'm going to go with the Default uh, because I'm going to add a couple things later. Um, now, you know what? We'll go with the accent. Uh, then navigation bar. Um, I think I'll go with the Pure Nexus 3. And that's about it. Now, all you have to do from here is you hit that little paint roller icon. And the first thing you want to do is you want to hit compile. Now, what that's going to do is this is going to build the theme for you. It's not going to set the theme um, it's just going to compile it it's, it's throwing everything together for you so right now I'm going to pause this until this is compiled because it does take a while to do okay as you can see it's still running uh, it's at the part where it's creating and signing the overlays uh, this can take up to two to three minutes maybe longer it all depends on um, how big the theme is uh, how much it's theming was this the first time you applied it uh, this is actually, I, I just wiped my whole system and just reloaded everything uh, so you guys could see a, a first install. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it again until it's done. All right, now it's done. Um, now, like I said before, uh, just because uh, it's done does not mean it's going to set the theme. Um, quite the contrary. Actually, what it did was it just built a theme for you. Uh, which you can enable uh, later on if you want. Um, if, and I'll show you. I'll go through my system. You guys can see uh, it is still nothing is themed. But what's cool about this is once you theme it, uh, or once you have it compiled, then what you do is you go up here to the drop-down and you click Enable Installed Overlays. Uh, when you click OK, this is going to go through. It's going to install the overlays for you. Um, and then you are going to have a system UI reboot. This also takes time to do depending on how big the theme is and what all was themed. So again, I'm going to pause this. Well, maybe not. It it's, looks like it's almost done. Now it still has to do a uh, system UI reboot. Oh, wow. That might be because of the system UI reboot. And we will see here real quick. Nope, this hasn't uh, done the reboot yet. There it goes. All right, system UI reset. Now, the theme should be set right now. And there it is. Uh, don't let that, uh, that scare you. This was the first time I used this. Uh, I actually had to 
uh, set permission for it and, and all that, which I should have done before and I didn't. Um, and it, it worked. Everything worked perfectly. Um, again, it, uh, it themes everything. So it, it, it themes it throughout. Uh, you guys know how themes work. If I go to my uh, phone dialer, uh, there, that's all themed. Uh, let's go ahead and, and go back into Substratum, though, because I want to show you guys some of the really cool features about this. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back into, uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and set a header real quick. And slide over here. Uh, we are going to hit the drop down. And I am going to pick, uh, let's see, boy, there's just so many to choose from. That's why I like Frankie, man. <laughs> uh, boy, uh, let's go with the, uh, let's go Pure Nexus 9, all right? Uh, again, what we want to do is we want to hit that little check mark, uh, and then we want to hit that paint roller icon. We want to compile. It's going to compile when it's done, uh, which this should be very, very quick. Uh, it shouldn't take long at all to do. Uh, but when it's done, um, well, there it is, it's done. Uh, then what you do is you go up to the drop down. You want to hit Enable Installed Overlay. Okay. Uh, one thing else you want to see, uh, whenever you install an overlay or you compile it, you want to see the letters change to yellow and green when it's done. You'll see that. Uh, under, um, well, I'll show you here in a minute when it's done here because it still has to do a system UI reset in order for that header pack to take effect. And I don't think it did yet. Nope. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it does. Sometimes it takes a while to do. Okay, just did a system UI uh, reset. So if I pull down on my drop down, as you guys can see, I now have a new Pure Nexus header pack. So as you guys can see, this is just awesome. Um, but again, there were no reboots. I did not have to reboot my phone whatsoever. Uh, it just does a system UI uh, reboot. Now, if you guys are going to, say, install a, um, uh, a boot animation, when you do something like that, that needs to be have your whole system rebooted. Um, what I want to do is, uh, we're going to go back into, uh, the Deity OMS, and I wanted to show you the, the coloring on the letters. You notice how the letters changed in color? Uh, sometimes it's yellow and green, sometimes, like this, it's green on green. Once you hit that decompile, or not decompile, man, once you hit compile and it's done, uh, you want to see those letters change. Also, you'll notice a notification up here. That will tell you uh, theme compilation has uh, completed and there were no errors. You want to see that right here, see? And there were no errors in installing. Uh, you want to definitely see that. So there are basically two steps to applying a theme. You compile it first by hitting that. Whoops, not by hitting that, but uh, by hitting the paint roller icon and hitting uh, compile or update. And then once it's done, then you, uh, while you're in the theme, obviously. Uh, once it's done compiling, then, of course, you want to hit Enable Installed Overlays. And it's that simple. Now, what's really cool is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to disable this quickly. And I'm going to pause until it's done. And it's done. So, as you can see, I still have my header pack on there because I, I kind of want to leave that there. But the, the main theme is now not on the device. Uh, now, it didn't delete the theme. It just took the theme off. The theme is still there. Uh, it is uh, in Deity, but it, it's, it's just not installed. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we're, we're just going to um, just something quickly here. Um, let's go with uh, Biohazard. So it's basically just building the cache. All right, and it's going to open that up. Uh, there it is, right there. You have uh, boot animations in it just as well, just like uh, in Deity. Uh, we're going to go over uh, to the Overlays Manager again. Um, as you guys can see, boot animations. 
Uh, see if it'll let, see if it'll show it on this one. Okay, and there's the boot animation for that. So when it does work, you can actually see the boot animation. It doesn't work all the time, though, guys. Just so you know. Um, so we're going to do the same to this. We are going to click on all of them, and I'm going to go down through and see if there is anything to pick and choose from. I do not want the Google keyboard themed. I don't want Nova Launcher themed. And it looks like this is one of those themes where you it is you can't change anything. It's just a theme. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to compile. Okay, so that compiled. Uh, I want to check and make sure that there were no errors, as you guys can see. Uh, theme compilation um, has completed and no errors right there. Okay. Um, now, I do want to apply this. Remember, it still didn't apply anything. We are still on, you know, stock with just the header. Uh, I am going to apply this now. We're going to enable the overlays. Okay. Okay, it, uh, it did what it's done, or it, it's done what it's doing, but it still has a system UI reboot, and... Actually, here it goes. And we are golden. Now, that theme should be applied now. As you can see, that theme is now applied. Notice the uh, nav bars have changed. Um, everything has changed to the biohazard. Uh, if I go home, if I click the home button here, uh, we'll go to the dialer. I'll show you uh, that's changed. Uh, and just remember, everything that you themed throughout is going to get changed as well. All right, we are going to go back into Substratum one more time because I just want to show you what's really what is so cool about this. Um, I am going to disable this theme again. So we're going to go up here. We are going to click on Disable uh, Installed Overlays. Click OK. And it was actually uh, a little bit quicker to disable the overlay than last time. <laughs> uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back down into Deity. And I'm not going to compile because remember, I, al I already built a theme earlier. What I'm going to go back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to enable that theme again. So just by clicking Enable Installed Overlays and clicking OK it should put this theme that I had built earlier right back on. And there it did. Now I think we're still waiting on a system uh, UI reset, which uh, shouldn't be too long. Uh, once it's compiled, it usually goes uh, a lot quicker. I'll give it a couple more seconds. If I have to, I'll pause it. Remember, guys, you may have to wait. I mean, this, this sometimes takes two to three, four minutes uh, to compile or to uh, complete the theme and do a, a, a system uh, reset, which is what it's doing right now. And remember, all of this was done without uh, rebooting my phone whatsoever. No soft reboot, nothing. So, I am back on the Deity theme. Everything worked great. And there you have it, guys. That's uh, Substratum and Deity. Uh, and it is just awesome. I think they've gone a long way with layers. Um, this is definitely a layers uh, theming system that I could use. The other layers, uh, layers manager, it was fine. I know a lot of people loved it. Um, I was not one of those fans. Um, it's just, it was too complicated. Not that I couldn't do it, but I knew a lot of other people that were having problems. I constantly got questions over you know, which one, which do I pick? What do I do with this? And if you pick the wrong ones, it would totally screw up the theme. This one is set up beautifully. Um, I like the way it's laid out, and they are still working on it. So it can only get better from here, guys. Well, um, if you like the uh, video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Um, like I said, I don't know when it's going to be out. That all depends on the release uh, of Substratum. Um, but, uh, you know, as soon as it's out there, guys, give it a try. I know you're going to like it, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.